Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, October 5th, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. And yes, it's Throwback Thursday at school. I'm throwing back to the 1480s. Friday, October 6th is our third quarter moon. Got to get up early to see that. And a pretty good amount of activity on the sun right now. This is going to be a short video because there's not much to forecast. For drought conditions, they've gotten a little worse in the southwest and western slopes. Nationally, it's a little better on the plains from Texas up, but in Arizona and like that, kind of dry. Smoke, we're all clear for now. And uh, precipitation was pretty light in most places. The southeast and some of the southwest part of the state got some uh, good water. We have uh, severe chances in North Texas and Oklahoma. And then Thursday, it just moves off and down and away. Surface map shows a cold front responsible for that with a low right there. Cold front pushes down and cools us on Thursday and Friday. Normal temperatures go from 77 to 66 now for highs, so we are really taking the, a dive into fall. Uh, it doesn't feel like it necessarily, but yeah, it is cooler. Uh, 41 to 37, we're in the 30s now, so it won't be too long before we have normal temperatures below freezing. For precipitation, it is dry. There's hints of something out here on the 12th, 11th, but it's dry. Uh, water vapor satellite image showing dr lots of dry air coming into the southwest, but basically over the next five days or so, we've got this ridge sitting around. For, I uh, should say Thursday, uh, uh, Wednesday night. Sorry, got a typo there. Uh, Wednesday night on the 12th is kind of the next ripple, so there is a chance of precipitation coming in. We um, do, did want to mention that uh, snowstorm, w which would have been tomorrow, um, totally and absolutely vanished the next day from the models, and we are in complete dryness instead so yeah i can't trust a, a model that far away so i really don't need to spend much time on this these animations today but we'll we'll spend it here on the 500 millibar map you can see the ridge just getting established in the west and the deep trough parking in the east and it's ridge 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 and here's tuesday here's Next Wednesday, here comes that trough. So for the end of next week, there's a possibility of something. We do have a little hurricane forecasted to form and affect the Baja, but that's a long ways out for that. For temperatures, we're cool right now with that cold front, double cold front that came down. You can see there's another pool of cold air up here, and that's going to slide over on the weekend. I'll be camping, but uh, hot on the western slopes. That's uh, a big blob of cool air for the south and the east. Amazing. You can see the warmth coming off of the lakes. See how warm the water is there? Warming up the air, pretty cool. Um, and then after that, we're kind of above normal for a long period of time. Water vapor satellite image. Uh, it's not water vapor satellite. This is precipitable water. And yeah, it's hard to do forecasting with chain mail on. Uh, it's just kind of dry. We have at or below normal amounts of precipitable water in the atmosphere for the most part. Dew points are also very low. I'm just going to show a few days of this because it really doesn't change much. We're in the low 30s. Mountains are in the 20s and teens. More super dry air slipping by with that big cold front. And really isn't anything to show here. I mean, like maybe, yeah, I think on the GFS going out to Wednesday, Thursday next week, it does not paint anything. So here's the next five days, completely dry precipitation wise. Next 10 days, a little bit down here, northern New Mexico, but it's just random. Here's snow over the next 10 days, nothing even in the highest mountains. So we have 60s and 70s, and then beginning of next week, we sneak up above normal to 80s, but we're just mostly clear and dry. Check out Longmont Leader for frequent weather and news updates. I won't need to update the weather much for a little while, but we'll get into some fun weather again. This is Chief Meteorologist John Edsworth urging you to keep looking up.